Good morning everyone, Grandpa Jake here. Today I'm going to do sort of a, a re-review on a few things and later on I'm going to go on to some, some new products that I've, I've tested and some solutions for people who fly any type of aircraft uh, radio control uh, relating to trackers. But right now I'm going to talk about a modified Phantom 1 and there's a number of items in here that are important to consider and also people who have a Phantom 1 who want to do some upgrading and want to get the most out of what they have without spending more money I've got a couple options for you so what you're going to see here is my modified Phantom 1 and on this Phantom 1 there's some key features first and this is the one part that I want to talk about now there's these motors they're made by iFlight-RC.com they have a, a new website that's uh, fun to buy online.com and that's uh, recent and it gives you some real options and phenomenal pricing on especially these motors I have these motors in uh, my Phantom 2 my Phantom 1 my F250 which came from iFlight-RC.com uh, and my 450 which I built also has their motors they're amazing amazing powerful quiet motors I've had zero problems. Before I tell you more, this system, a uh, mistake of my own, but it went into fail safe at a lower altitude and it ended up crashing into some trees uh, about 60 feet up. What happened is it continued to spin. I left it that way for two reasons. First, I wanted to be able to find it and I could hear it. So I had a tracker on it, so I was backed up in all different. Um, avenues but the one motor spun so much and was bent it actually got hot enough to melt the mount the plastic little nubs that it mounts to to the point where it was off kilter I readjusted that got it leveled I took the motor completely apart thinking this thing ran for about 15 minutes what kind of damage um, is inside the motor the motor had a line on it from rubbing so long that I, I thought for sure the motor was was bad so I took the entire motor apart everything looked as good as the the other motors that um, of course did not end up in that situation and after putting it back together uh, looked everything over I've run it now um, two or three more flights and it is perfect these motors are amazing and what's nice about it and the reason I'm going to tell you about this specific modification is I actually ran for 26 minutes without the gimbal and I ran good hard flights uh, back and forth 26 minutes it ran non-stop these were barely warm I, I hardly could tell and it was about 75 degrees out here in South Carolina the motors were, were virtually cool almost so what uh, I want to tell you is check those motors out for whether it be for the Phantoms for a 450 for whatever you want check out the motors at iFlight-RC.com and their new online website which is fun to buy online.com and I'm going to list those in the in the description down below uh, when I'm done here but what I've done here it looks like a standard door but what I've done is if you can see all the way through I have cut out the back end of my Phantom 1 and I've relocated the indicator light so it's going to take a little ability to to tinker to be able to solder and add some wires to move your extension over but what this now accommodates and this battery I'm going to tell you about in a moment fits directly in there everything I connect to the outside and it sticks out the back you think that's bad but what it does it completely allows balancing so when this takes off it goes straight up with the gimbal without the gimbal it works great and the battery I'm using I've got a number of batteries I've got some 4000 milliamps some 5000 milliamps but this one is by um, actually it's out of my iris from 3d robotics and it's a 5100 milliamp battery people are going to start to wonder because the it's an 8C battery they did a lot of thought in there don't always believe that the higher C is going to be the best option for your aircraft it's not 
but this one ran without the gimbal, without my lights, if you've noticed I've got two headlights here, and without the FPV transmitter, it ran 26 minutes and still I had a little time left before I had to land, but 26 minutes with the gimbal, with the GoPro 3, with um, a 250 milliamp uh, FPV transmitter, and two headlights, which are really neat. If you're flying and you sort of lose your, your you know position of where it is or which way it's facing, those are great. You can see them in bright daylight, uh, 500, 600 feet away. But with everything on here, using this battery, and I also had a tracker on it, uh, which I th believe everything came to about three pounds, it ran 16, little over 16 minutes, but 16 minutes of safe, non-fail-safe uh, flight time. So it takes, like I said, if you want to take a, an older Phantom 1 and do some modifications and, and you feel comfortable with doing that, like I said, I've got it completely opened up here. I ended up modifying uh, a frame to hold a gimbal, but it's um, it gives me a lot of a lot of flight time. Or if you just want to play for for 26 minutes, don't do it. Don't add anything else. Just add this battery and this uh, modification, and you're good to go. So check out the iFlight uh, RC websites and also mostly their new online which is fundobuyonline.com the pricing is phenomenal on all their products and everything I've had from them has been top-notch it's high quality it's not some some product that isn't built to, to the standards you'd want to use and in another month later next month I'm going to be trying one of their brand new three axis gimbals which will mount onto the Phantom and I, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on the, the Phantom or my Iris. I'll have to look it over but the quality of this new gimbal is, is phenomenal. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, let people know to subscribe to my website if you don't mind and shortly I'm going to do uh, an important review on trackers and it's an update from what I've done in the past and I think I'm going to give you a couple solutions that are going to be perfect so for now uh, feel free to ask me any questions I'll try to help you and guide you the best I can so from Grandpa Jake and Funtime Grandpas I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you all soon bye bye now